God lives and works today. But it's not the rich people who can experience and testify to this the best. No, for some strange reason, it has always been the poor, the people who have come off badly in life. To them belong God's entire love and treasures. Isn't that a comfort? Each one of us is included. God wants to give, to pour out His love and gifts on us. Listen to the following meditation by Basilea Schlink about this. God is love, love that gives. We see the greatest evidence of this love in that He gave us the most precious gift He had, His beloved Son, Jesus. God the Father tore Jesus from His heart and sent Him to us, as we read in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Loving Father, loving Father, It's overwhelming. We have a God who always wants to give. He was willing to give everything, even his dearest son. Just think, we have a God who actually commands us to ask for things. He wants to give to us and to shower us with goodness. It's inconceivable. But on the other hand, we can cause God the greatest grief imaginable when we don't come to accept his gifts. Suppose you've thought up a wonderful surprise for someone you love. Then you ask him to come by and receive his present. But he never comes. Surely we don't want to do this to our Lord, leaving him outside of our hearts with all of his gifts. Let's come to him with our entire poverty. Let's rejoice when we are poor or in need of something. For then the Father will look upon us and say, it is my life to be able to bring joy to my children and to give them presents. I have everything, and I can give you everything. As Jesus told us in the Sermon on the Mount, we must really hunger and thirst for him and his gifts. Those who are full and satisfied can't receive anything. And surely we would never forgive ourselves if God prepared good gifts for us and we were too satisfied and apathetic to accept his gifts. Therefore ask much and expect much of your Father in heaven, and you will become one who is richly bestowed. You have been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.